All right, uh, this video is uh, right before hair transplant surgery and uh, Dallas Garner was kind enough to uh, allow me to show the full face. Um, he's uh, began his journey to uh, hair restoration and he done quite a bit of research um, about hair transplant and watching a lot of video and he said all my work uh, because uh, I'm known and as a specialist in the hair transplant surgery on African-American curly hair for both men and women. If the clinic or the surgeon claim that they are specialized, you want to see a lot of before and after. You want to see a lot of proof because otherwise the result is not going to be very dense or natural. Hair transplant again is not just uh, density, it's all about artistry of the hairline. And I'm one of the very few surgeons in the world who focus on heavily on the artistry of the hairline to uh, want to make sure it looks so natural that no one knows you have had surgery. Yes, I understand the idea of mature hairline, but you don't want to do it too high while you have a big giant forehead. Right? And, um, and again, Dallas is kind enough to allow me to uh, film it. If you can look down here, you can see um, what we, from the mid eyebrow to the hairline for him, uh, on average for African American um, and Asian, it's around six and a half to seven centimeter. Uh, and then uh, Caucasian around seven half to eight and a half. So let's measure that uh, here for his last. Initially we start at seven, but we, with upon his request, we brought it down to uh, six and a half centimeter. So it's right here. So six and a half centimeter for him. And then you know, there's oh, we cannot go a straight line. We had to have a what a curve. It dipped down a little bit because our face is not flat. It's not two D. It's a three D. So it had to have a curve and a dip down. But when it comes out, when the hair comes out, it's going to look like a straight hairline. That's how it is. And you can turn sideways and see how we did that. Now, you know, he, he probably going to need around up to 4,000 grams to go all the way to the back. But uh, again, we're going to start with 2,500 and see how it goes. And uh, knowing that we're going to need more than one surgery to have a perfect result. So his plan is let's try to establish the hairline, go as far back as we can with at least 2,500 or more. And then the second surgery, we're going to work on the back. And then if the front is not perfect, certainly we're going to do q tuber with one stone by increase the density of the front at the same time as we work in the back. And then probably we might need to uh, fix the tempo a little bit. And his tempo is good for now. Uh, the key word is, is right around the frontal area. Once we, um, the hair is not just curly, but the root is curly, so it's very difficult to how to harvest the hair graft, cutting it without damaging the root, and then dissecting it and slice it um, and to extract it out without damaging the root. It's taken a lot of experience uh, and a lot of manipulation and a lot of techniques which I have invented many years ago just to overcome that. And not only how to extract and then dissect that, but how we transplant it because it's like a hook and a corkscrew style. So we cannot, with a straight root, you cannot jam the roots right in. It's a curl, so there's a way you can, uh, uh, you know, glide it in without damaging the root. And it takes a lot of uh, hours uh, and experience to work. And my surgery is not five to six hours. On average, this type of surgery is around 12 to 16 hours. Yeah, and I take pride in my work. We want to make sure that we take time, uh, take care, uh, take our time to make sure we have give him the best result. So, 12 hour, 14 hour, 16 hour. But he's, um, don't worry, he's gonna be on medicine like Xanax and Valen to help him relax so the surgery will go on by uh, faster for in his mind, probably two to three hours, okay? And so, we're gonna try and plant a row and row single hair graph in the front, followed by a root of two or three hair mixture in here, and to add for volume and density in the back, but the front you want a nice and softness. And then, um, if he has wave, I would try to follow the precise angle that he had to give him like a wave look. Um, but if he doesn't, then he won't have it. Um, so precise angle is important. And then it takes a lot of technical skill and know-how to help to make sure you the best. I'm excited for Dallas. And he promised that he's going to come back for us to show the audience what his hair is going to look like in a year later. Um, to see him going to be a new man. Uh, so stay tuned. And uh, we're going to have another update, right, Dallas? Yes, we will. Uh, and Dallas is from uh, Florida. Yes. And, uh, 
so he uh, flew all the way to California to, uh, um, again, um, to trust in my work, and uh, so we can help him restore that look and get back his youth and his handsome look. Yes. All right, thank you. Thank you.